So, so sanctuary. It's now sanctuary then with Mark. So this is a it's a really interesting film. It's a fairly small release. It's coming out uh, after Christmas, and it's a kind of comedy drama about a group of adults with um, intellectual disabilities trying to find their own space in the world. Basically, a pre Christmas trip to the cinema in Galway is organised um, by their by their by, by by this guy called Tom, who is it's, let's just say he's he's somewhat reckless. And two of the people that he takes have, have a plan that they don't want to go to the cinema. What they want to do is to escape to a hotel room where they can be alone together. And uh, they play, uh, excuse me for my pronunciation, Kieran Coppinger and Charlene Kelly are Larry, who is a young man with Down syndrome, and Sophie, who suffers from epilepsy and tremors. And as the group fractures... Two of them go to the hotel, two of them are go off to a pub, two of them are left in the cinema, a couple of them go off on a sort of spending spree. And it's all about what happens to the group as it disperses. But centrally, on the two central characters, Kelly and Larry, and about what happens to them. The cast is drawn largely from the Blue Teapot uh, Theatre Company, who are um, uh, an art school and outreach programme for people with intellectual disabilities. And the cast are really, really terrific. It's written by Christian O'Reilly and directed by Len Collin, who apparently worked with Blue Teapot uh, many, for many years. What I thought was really impressive about this film is, firstly, I mean, it's a sort of comedy drama in which there is some really great comedy. There's the sequence when they're in the cinema and there's a lot of code non-compliance will, for a Wittertainment audience, work really, really sort of perfectly and really well. There is also some terrifically deadpan slapstick stuff that takes place in the pub. But more importantly, it's a film which deals with its central characters' desires and ambitions and the schism between what they want and what society allows. It deals with sex and intimacy in a frank and honest fashion. It does not shy away from serious issues of abuse and intimidation. It has um, a sort of love story at its heart, but it also has a fairly devastating denouement. It felt to me honest and heartfelt, performed with vitality and vigour, and centrally uh, an all-encompassing theme which felt very, very universal and I think should chime uh, with all cinema audiences. I was really won over by it. I thought it was a, a really, really impressive piece of work and it's called Sanctuary. It's a fairly small release, but I, I really liked it. Well, it's 3.37 and uh, you're listening to Five Live. We're here to four o'clock.